Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to my PS3 game series here, in which today's episode 7, by the way, is on Assassin's Creed 3. And in this topic, or in this gameplay here, I talk about the difference between um, a student's power and a parent's power, or how a student and parent can be contrasted and compared. So there we go. When we talk about parents, we think of parents as the leading models of a student's life. A student will get used to a parent for as long as he can unless anything such as divorcing cannot break up their um, childhood experience there because that it just shows that you know sometimes things don't always work for the best but um, parents are the one that make rules and parents are the one that break rules because they don't understand the fact that uh, you know not everything is perfect so they, they just don't understand the, to the fact that you know um, that everything they need to do is right they that's what I think of it. I mean, whatever a parent does, you know, it has to affect their child in a positive way. That's what I think about it when um when I talk about parents and stuff like that. But when I talk about teenagers, and oh boy, teenagers, I'm I'm one including myself here. But when we talk about teenagers, we talk about people who throw other people in the water, like I just did to the guy right there, because I'm a badass though. But actually, I'm not. We talk about people who are basically drunk or fighting. I mean, look, look, this gives a perfect example, okay? Let's spend, let's spend these guys with teenagers to arguing about Xbox versus PS2 because that, that's the most con controversial shit and they both leave. Reason is because there's no point of arguing. That's, that's for saying people are smart. And look at these guys. These guys are people who party really hard. So let me, let me check them out. Let me show them that their life sucks because partying is not how it goes unless you feel like you want to give up in school and stuff like that. Well, I mean, I like partying, but to a certain extent, when you go to drinking and stuff like this, it just kind of leaves um, it kind of leaves those teenagers teenagers with a bad effect because teenagers to me are supposed to have a good um a good success to go to college and stuff like that. You know, they're supposed to be um, young mature teenagers that are supposed to learn what the difference is between drinking and difference between of succeeding school and stuff like that. Blah blah blah. But um, yeah, they used to learn. So I th I killed um. To people to show that drinking is not good, and um, I do apologize for saying that partying is not good, but um, there's sometimes that, look at this guy here, look at this guy, see, in parties, this guy can just start running around, I know what he's running around for, so I gotta confess him, and I'm gonna kill him, reason is, I, I'm Batman, I need to keep us safe, I don't know why this guy's running, actually I'll spare him, it's not worth killing him, I'm an, I'm an innocent human being, I'll give him two, um, two new shots this time, we can all let them go. One, two. Right, you're living. You're living. Fine, fuck off. <laughs> you have to run anyways. But, um, yeah. Also, teenagers can have emotional effects. Like, they, like when something isn't right, they could just complain about, oh, you know, blah, blah, this shit isn't fair to me, William. Why am I always doing this? Teenagers, teenagers always think that they're the ones who are being um, victimized when it can be a, a people like grandparents even, even parents even, sisters and stuff like that. I mean, teenagers always think that they are the, they're the only class that can do what they want because they're the, the only class that's average. Like, they're the middle class of society here because the, the highest class would be um, adults and stuff like that. But the lower classes would be probably like low kids and teenagers would probably fall in the middle. But yeah, uh, that's all to say here. And, um... You know, people do abuse power, but um, teenagers, they don't abuse it as long as the parents doesn't have a bad influence in them. Because if the parents didn't have a bad influence in them, you know, it would make a whole, um, a whole lot of difference here. Just, just describing what a parent would do to make a teenager just change his um, personality. Like having an alter ego. For example, my cousin has an alter ego. He has like five alter egos. Um, one of them is the snowman one. In which he goes on Facebook and he just like posts random pictures of snowman. Another one is the K-pop fanatic. Um, he also has a a communist one. Um, I forgot, but he has a lot of these like stupid ass personalities that are really hilariously funny. Because um, the other day I was talking to him and um, he was basically like every time when I when I was trying to dig us something or, or like when we were trying to dig something to talk. He would always be like dancing shit. I'd be like, "What the fuck are you doing?" He's like, <laughs> "I have no idea. I have no idea what he's doing here." But um, personalities can also change a teenager's mood in a negative way or in a positive way. For my cousin, it's a positive way. But yeah, um, that's all to say here. Um, parents do abuse more because they know more um experience on what laws are than teenagers do. But again, teenagers do um didn't know so much. They pro they would probably um not 
there'd probably be a school of just like smart teenagers. There probably would like for every state. That would be pretty stupid though because a teenager's life would be based on success rather than just having fun. But whatever. I guess I'm not talking about it here. Kind of abruptly, by the way, is I am just like stuttering, stuttering, or am I, or am I just? See, I just, ah, never mind. I'm, I'm done talking here. Huh? How long has it been? It's been six minutes. No, it's six minutes three seconds. And going on, we're gonna make it around a nine or ten minute video. I'll try my videos because they're interesting. Okay. Let me do some killing now because I've talked so much that I've just lost place. So I kept on running around to make sure that I wouldn't die and stuff like that. The hell? Let's put some inside of water. Let's see what they find. Oh boy. Ow. <laughs> Ow. My horse, eh? I'm gonna steal his money. And I wanna. Don't run away from the assassin! Get caught. Who wants to save him? No one? Well, very well then! I, dem I demonstrate my nice sword to you assholes. And just start running. Y'all start running. How about this guy? I'll be I'll be going home. Oh, step to the brain. You guys are not gonna fight me. You guys are not gonna call the cops. Okay, let me try to fight the um the cops of this game, which are basically Roman troopers. Let me do a quick one fight, and I'm done with this video. I guess. Here it is. Uh, let me try to find him. Um, I'm trying to find someone to fight. Okay, I'm currently down here. Oh, this is such a big ass map. Uh, I'm just gonna cause trouble. All that. <laughs> uh, let's cause some trouble here. Or oh, then I can't because if I kill three people, then I'm automatically um exterminated from data and to start again. Where can I? Hold oh, the fuck up. Oh. And by the way, this is a perfect example of a parent teaching their students about his religious beliefs. I'm gonna kill him. You know why? This is not y'all parrot. You guys are all, have all been brainwashed. I am the real deal down here. This is a fake persona of a person who just wants to influence you. Whether they be good or whether they be bad. He is not your real parent. You shouldn't listen to him. Have fun. That's what I would say if a teenager is being harassed by their parents. You know, have fun. I mean... But don't smoke, don't do drugs because you don't want to make rich too, man. Just, you know, just do something productive. I mean, come on. <laughs> you just gonna stay, you can stay your ass and go play computer all day. Holy shit. Now, that would be pretty weird because eventually you won't be able to do much. I don't know, I don't know why you sat there, but, um, yeah. The hell? Oh... A uh, man, see, look at this. Another example of my rant here. A man and a woman arguing, or they're talking about something. See, look, hand motions. He's saying, fuck you to her, so, hmm. And she's like, why? So, see, this game has everything. This game, okay, this game should not be my favorite game because it has everything that I just talked about here. So, the man can be like a dad, and the girl can be like a daughter. They're just arguing about, like, oh, you know, why can't I go and friends, stuff like that. So, hmm. I shouldn't kill him because, you know, I would ruin the example of a parent abusing power or a parent, you know, just a parent just trying to um, persuade his daughter that they're right, stuff like that, which is another reason. Parents always think that, you know, they're right and stuff like that when really they're not because even though you guys have been through a success, successful childhood, your um, your child may, your child's experience may differ or it may be different in similar ways or in ways and stuff like that. Alright, it's 9 minutes 27 seconds. I can't find any kills, so I'm gonna get caught and I'm gonna leave the game. Here we go. These are my gang members. All my groupies. Gotta kill you guys. Where's the money at? <laughs> oh my god. Punch, elbow to the throat, and just like slice off his throat, guys. Just dark humor. I'm just kidding, but what? 
Oh, okay, okay, this video will be longer because the fight just got shit in me. And by the way, I, I uploaded my video in HD yesterday for no apparent reason, which it really looks like it's in like, um, 480. Fight me! Dun, 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 ow. Alright, come down, come, come shit down, I forgot to play this game. I keep saying it because I don't play these kind of types of games unless I do reviews. That's another reason why I complain so much. Ooh, shit. Do you think I was ready? You better ask my question here. Oh crap, oh crap, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Bring it on. What the hell is it bring on? Your fuck, sir. Let's do some hand to hand combat. Ah, uh, treacherous blood has been shed through this thing. Let me steal your money here. Let me see what we got here first before I end this video. Wow. One medicine, one poison, and plus two bullets. Pretty impressive. You guys should not do your shit. What you got here? But it looks like I'm putting his ass, I'm putting my ass in his face. Same shit, one medicine, but kind of different, whatever. Dang, throwing knives. Oh my god, this is awesome. Wait, wait, wait I should use my throwing knife to my advantage. That's a damn horse. You're causing horse to die. You, you, you human. I'm still gonna get this fat man into my bed, and no one's gonna laugh because it's not funny. But if it, if it's funny, go see some blood. Bam! Alright, this game is just too fun. So, um, by the way, I gotta say for my Spanish two test tomorrow. So, um. Yeah, time's wasting. Anyways, um, if you guys want to see more reviews, that um, or if you guys want to see more games from my PS3, um, I currently have about like six more to do left. So, um, yeah, then stay tuned to my channel. Also, check out my other channels too if you guys prefer. But if not, I mean, I just had different shit about them. Anyways, let's end it with one final kill. Okay, let's end it with me killing this guy. Just for a nice bonus for staying this long and listening to me talk. Neckbreaker. Thank you, WWE. You taught me how to kick some ass in real life. Bye-bye. I'm officially out of here. Bye.